Well, if you have little ones, especially little girls, then you have probably read the book Pinkalicious. Yeah, my little ones are older now, so I've missed all of this, but the newest book of the children's series is out. It's called Rubylicious. Author and artist Victoria Kant is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Welcome. Victoria. So great to have you on the show. Oh my goodness, I am so pink excited to be with you on this very ruby-tastic day. I love it. All right, so there's a new book coming out, Rubylicious, and fans have been waiting for a long time to be like, what is going to, what's this going to be about? Uh, yes, it is. It is true. It's been it's been a while since I had an malicious book out because I've been working so hard on the kids TV show Pinkalicious and Peterific. And um, so it's really, really very exciting for me to have this book Rubylicious out, which is um, a, a, a very colorful book about uh, a character named Ruby. And Ruby comes to Pinkalicious and Peter, and here she is. She comes and she says, I've got one wish for you. Now, can you imagine if you only had one wish? What would you wish for? And every time Pinkalicious and Peter come up with a wish idea, Ruby says, oh, that's a terrible idea. Let me show you why that wish is no good. She's very fearful. She's very anxious. She's so nervous that she can't really think. I don't know if you've noticed, but when you have a lot of fear, it's all you think about and you can't think things through. So Pinkalicious and Peter um, decide to be very generous and very kind, and they make a wish for Ruby. And you'll notice in life when you are very kind, that it can be transformative. And their transformative wish uh, changes Ruby from very anxious and very nervous to being brave and having confidence. So there are a lot of teachable moments in this very colorlicious book that you can read with your kids um, uh, and, and enjoy. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about the, your method because the responsibility of writing children's books and to get the message out, what what inspires your messages for these for these kids? Well, I, I look at kids. First of all, I, it started with my own children, and I always thought, what is what is it that they they need to hear? What am I always saying as a parent? And then how do I say that visually? And how do I say that in a story? So it's really fun because no kid wants to hear somebody say, you need to have more courage. You need to be more brave. But if you show it in a story, it, it, it inspires yeah. children. So a lot of my messages are things like having courage to stand up for what you believe in or um being who you are is is exactly who you know is the is the best thing ever and they're and they're based on things that my own children and the kids that i meet are going through yeah i mean it's a tough it's sometimes tough as a kid and you have those down days and you're right it's a, storytelling could be so much more transformative than just telling show not tell but i love you know when you started doing this uh you live in westport so you're local you're local gal but did you ever imagine that Pinkalicious would become what it's become from a show to uh, on stage to a series that I feel like every house knows? Um, honestly, I've, I just wanted to work. Um, I just wanted to create things. So it's, it's really, I, I'm, I'm very, very humbled um, by the fact that uh, people like to, to read my books. And it's been an honor and a privilege for me to have been able to do this for the past 15 years. And I am, I am just so grateful to all of you out there for, um, for enjoying my stories. Um, it's, it's really wonderful. Is there, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Jeff. No, go ahead. Is there a process? Do you get up and write every morning or how do you do it? Um, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, no, that, well, usually we go away over Christmas and my family, uh, goes skiing and I just stay in the hotel room. And then I, I write, I write down a lot of different ideas and then I take those ideas and I use those ideas the, during the year and I expand upon them. 
So um, that, and then, so the way I do a book is the first thing I do is I write a story yeah. and, um, and then I come up with what I want the artwork to look like. And then I do the illustrations and it's the illustration process that takes a long time. Thank you so much. I know we're out of time today, but I want everyone to know they can go out there and get Ruby Licious. And thank you for sharing some time with us. Well, thank you. I, I thank you so much. It's it's. I hope you all have a Ruby tastic day. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Oh, Joe. I hope you have a Ruby tastic day. Yep. We will be back here tomorrow. I would assume that four is coming up next. Thanks for watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.